Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, glad you can join me again. Uh, got another Halo Infinite video for you. Uh, it's uh, collecting all the schools. So yeah, it's a pretty good one. So if you follow the guide, you should get get them no problem. Just uh, be aware, we're going to do all the uh, indoor ones, mission ones, which can be missed and can't really go back in the game. So it's not too bad with the first two missions. So if you have to create a new game, a uh, new save point in a new game. You, can, you know, the first two missions ain't too bad because we're right at the beginning of the game. But uh, the next ones, what are indoor, you can't really go back on. If you miss these, you get the, they're about nine or ten hours in the game, so it can be a bit of a pain in the bum if you're going to, unless you're going to do another playthrough. That is. But yeah. Anyway, um, if, it, if this video did help you out, uh, leave us a like, a uh, little thumbs up. I do appreciate that and. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, just click click on that subscribe button. I do appreciate all your support. So anyway, let's let's sort of waffling on. Let's just crack on with the uh, video, shall we? So. Okay. So so the first school you'll come across is the uh, is the boom school. Um, it's in this little room here. Um, the little sensor. And, uh, See it, uh, it's up there, and the way to get it is uh, jump on the uh, these crates. What are lifting up is uh, three, and uh, you just jump on the middle one. Very simple to get to. And it's in the ledge. Here, yeah, there's the uh, there's the big scroll. Very easy one to pick up to. Yeah, just clear the rooms before you actually pick it up. It just makes it a little bit easier for you. Second, uh, second school to find is a cowbell um, in the foundations section of the uh, second mission. Um, you come to this ahead. room; it's like an open area. Calling out to me. Um, like I say, just clear the. Uh, but easy, just to clear out the. Uh, the rooms. Um, we've got a few little enemies. Yeah, with you know, trying to. Uh, grapple up to the place but as soon as you cleared it out um, there's a little section here a little pillar um, you just it's like up there on a little ledge so if you, on this first pillar when you enter the room there's a little it's a little ledge onto this first That's because sometimes it's easy if you jump up get get as high as a gap as you can sort of like onto this little ledge here and you can just grapple up onto this other little ledge where the skull actually is, the cowbell skull. And if you look here and you don't fall off, uh, it's just here. <laughs> there. Just have a little look there. So basically you want to be jumping up from there to there. Two little grapples. Pick up, collect your cowbell skull. So that's in the second section. Second level, sorry. Next skull is the uh, mythic skull, as you see on screen. Location is the command spire of the uh, mission. So when you get to this, you get these like little. Uh, this room where you've got this like big blocks on a conveyor going and it, there's a right turn in and you need to get on top of one of them um, I don't know what they call like sort of blocks on it like metal hexagon things on it on a conveyor yeah you'll need to jump on one of them and you need to get up to there where I've just scoped so hit one of these might take you several times, I think it did me. Yeah, so, just there, so. And you need to get 
get up. It can be tricky this bit, can you? Get on, there's like a little ledge below the ledge where you need to be. So you need to get on top of that ledge there. To go through to a li little ne next section where you pick up the score. So I'm just trying to figure out here how, how I'm going to grapple up without falling down because it's like a bit of a ledge. little room here so you, I'll go back down you look down just where them it turns right you've got to remember there's a little room to put that so this little room there's the boy there's the skull waiting for you to be picked up The next school is uh, in this little section here, in this re level repository. Um, so basically, you've got to uh, you can get this big section room with uh, two bridges. Um, you can grapple over to the uh, there's a right-hand door which you look over and uh, you pick up this electric um, power feed. And you have to go and slot that into another one, which is to the other side of the bridge. You don't have to let go, you can still grapple whilst holding the uh, electric feed. Go over to the bridge. Yes, it's this room when you get to the uh, the two bridges. You've got to remember to shoot off to the right, pick up this electric feed, come over, and pop over to the door on the left. You've got to pop. It's like in two little sections, this is where. Skill isn't exactly in this part here. You just have to put this so you can actually uh, get to the section where the skill is. So yeah, it's a little door here. And we'll pop it in the, uh, in the slot here, and that should open up where the skull is. It's, it's a few sections down, about four or five rooms down, which we'll get to. I'll just fast scan over to there. Like I say, there's a little room above. You'll get to a room looking like this. And if you didn't plot uh, um, electric feed into the slot, that would have been closed. It's a bit of a tough section, this. You've got some elites waiting for you um, with camo. Um, you can do what I did. Um, I think you've got four or five. That's what I did. I just ran in it. I mean, you can fight him by a wing. As you see, it took me a couple of attempts because they're uh, a bit tough, but they are. I mean, this is on just normal as well, so if you're doing it on a harder level, good luck with that. <laughs> you can do that, I found it easier. You probably have to do that if you're on a tougher level. <laughs> Next school is found in this uh, the Silent Auditorium uh, level mission. It's called the Bandana School, and uh, it's on the screen. Do not destroy any sentinels. 
destroy any. Uh, if you do, by accident, you can pause uh, it and restart the level. It's quite boring game. After you complete the game, you can't actually come back to this level, so it can be quite tough because you've got some tough enemies here. So you just be careful you don't destroy any sentinels. No, like I said before, just uh, if you do, just like I said, just start the level. It can be a bit of a pain in the butt, like, but you know, it's uh, the only option to kind of grab this skull. So first I'll get to this section here, to the other side. Without dying, obviously. So we've got some broods and elites on here, so maybe we can just fly. Go straight through it on the easy there, but this is being normal. I tried that before and uh died. <laughs> oh, I managed to take a few out. That last is the easiest to get to the other side. As fast as possible. More heroic, might be a bit tougher. Yeah, get to this next section. A few more rooms. So yeah, you just come to this section here. It's about five minutes down from where we just got to that sentinel room. And, uh, So yeah, I think if you kill this sentinel, it's got two bridges. You would normally turn left there. I'm assuming Great if you kill the sentinel, that door will be locked. The the second those bridge. Made you. Well, if you like I said, I think you would have had a locked door there if uh, you killed the sentinel. So you yeah, won't be able to get the skull. Just bear that in mind. Okay, so the first skull in the open wasteland, um, open, um, open world. It's, uh, I started down the bottom because uh, you want to grab yourself one of these wasps. If you're unable to uh, spawn one in at one of the fob points, then I did do a video where you can just pick two up in the open world. So I'll put a link in that in the description where you can pick these up. So, and uh, I started at the bottom here because it's where the nearest to the wasp that I picked up was so yeah you just okay i'll mark this on the map okay, this is the blind skull there it is on the map it's in between like uh two rock like big mountains like a gap just flying between them you have to pick up the rock just follow the uh follow the guide there I mean you can actually grab them down on this one, it's not really important that you need a wasp, but uh I think there's only one place where you need a wasp or a hijacker banshee to get to. Well it's two places actually, I mean um I think you might be able to it's, it's hard to grab them, but uh, the next one in the open world is uh, the Black Eye Skull. You see this waterfall, and it's very hard to see actually. Um, didn't know it was a very hard to find. It took me quite a few attempts to actually get onto the ledge. I mean, you can't really see it even when you close up to it, so it's very easy to miss. I went 
grips it to the side. I mean, you can sort of grab it from the bottom. So I just went from the leg to the left of it and then uh, grappled into the little, it's a little cave of sorts. And uh, you'll find the black, the black eye scar inside this cave. Popular areas on the map. So it's, uh, I apologise for the screen tearing on the next because it's because I'm taking footage from the, uh, a laptop and uh, it isn't very powerful and uh, a not very good um, capture card <laughs> and I'm only using this because I can play it in 4 it's got a 4k 60 pass through but it's, uh, I found out that the actual recording 1080p isn't very really, uh, good on it so I'm going to revert back to my old Oh, catch card. Yeah. Anyway, next, uh, next little uh, skull is famine, and uh, you do need the wasp or grab yourself hijack a banshee. It is actually on the uh, on the same island where the wasp actually is. So, which you need a wasp or a banshee to get to. So it's like a broken part island out in the uh, ocean. You can't really grab into it. So. This is where the famine, famine school. This little island out here, you see on the map. You need a banshee or a wasp to get to this area. Next one we've got the thunderstorm uh, skull. It's on this little pillar at the top. The easiest way I got to it was, uh, like I say, get, get you, I mean, you can grapple up. You've not got the wasp or I mean, the wasp is easy to keep just like fobbers above it, and a banshee would be quite hard. Uh, they don't really hold it. <laughs> Grab yourself a wasp or just grapple up. This pillar here. And you grapple up from, from that little section where you leave your wasp. You know when it's like that. Right? Yeah. Thunderstorm school. I mean, if you want to be daring, you can actually uh, jump from there if you wanted to. If you're lucky, you might land on top. Is, I would have been your daddy's school. Um, it's the top of this uh, the tower. Um, this is actually quite. I think you actually need a banshee or a. Like I said, there's two banshees here, so you want to take these out before you actually. It can be a bit annoying. Um, take them out. So it's, cool. but it's on top of this tower. Um, it's a bit hard to grapple up to, I mean. Uh, it might be a bit, uh, take a bit of time, but uh, I found uh, just getting the uh, wasp or one of them banshees. Makes it a lot easier just to uh, get one of them to get on, on top of the tank. That's what that one's all about. Next school, we've got the um, the catch school. Now I forgot to press uh, record before actually picking the school up, so I'll just put the location where it is, and it's in like this tree log. So just remember, it's at the top there. 
Yeah, I thought I pressed record before I got to the section, but I didn't. I just realised after I picked the score up, it wasn't recording. So, yeah, that's the catch school, which should just leave one more school now. And we have the old whole lot of them. And hopefully we should pick up an achievement for collecting all the schools. Oh, there's two hunters here as well, so you might want to uh, take these badasses out. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. So the last achievement is the uh, fog school. Um, you can grapple away through here if you want. It uh, can be a bit tricky, um, especially when you get a bit into the uh, into this section. But like me, if you want to make it a little bit easier, just grab yourself a wasp. Spawn one in if you've got 2,600 valor, 10 fob point. Or just pick it up at the uh, section where I said you can pick one up to the spawn location. So yeah, just check out the video for that one. But uh, yeah, it's at the top here. Like I say, you can grapple up if you want to. But it's uh, if you, you want to get away a bit faster. Easy way. There we go. That's the fog spawn. Pick that badass up. Catacomb achievement. Not many people got a 0 0.15 when I pick that up, so not many people pick the schools up at the moment. Yeah, I hope this uh, video went out, and uh, if it did, leave us a like and uh, subscribe. I'll see you again soon.